bottles. Just spilled water. What is up homies? My name is Felix and I'm here back again with another video for you all today. And today we're going to find out, does FL Studio 11 hit harder? Question mark, question mark, dot, dot, dot. So if you're wondering what I'm even talking about here, recently there's been kind of a thing, kind of a little debate going on of whether FL Studio 11 just inherently hits harder than the newer versions, FL 12 and FL 20. This has kind of been an ongoing thing for a while, but it just kind of flared up a little bit because I think there was an interview with Southside where he literally just said FL 11 hits harder. And then everybody's like, Oh my god, yeah it does! So today we're gonna put that to the test. I've got FL11, FL12, and FL20 here. I'm gonna make the same exact beat in every single version of the program, and then we're gonna see if FL11 does hit harder, or if there's any difference at all between the three. Make sure you guys go check out my Instagram. I post funny memes and cool little polls you can interact with on there. Plays of songs I produced, my beat store, my Discord, all that stuff down in the description below. Go check it out if you'd like to do so, and now let's get into this video. So first off, obviously, we're gonna start out with FL11. What is this, dude? All right, so here we have FL Studio 11. Pretty weird to look at. It's a lot more retro than the newer versions of FL Studio. But let's see what the little startup track they've got for us is. We all pretend to be. All right, so now we have a blank template. I'm gonna open up the mixer, and on the master channel, I'm just gonna put a fruity soft clipper, wherever that may be. Right there. And just not even mess with the settings at all, just leave it like this. And now we can get started making this beat. So, options, file settings. I think I'm actually gonna be using some sounds for my brand new funk drum kit, which you guys can check out. Go cop for yourself right now, it's a pretty good kit. You can use it for whatever genre you want. But that's the kit that I'm gonna be using in this video. So this beat that I'm gonna make is gonna be very simple. I don't wanna make it super overly complicated. That's not really the point here. The point here is to see if there's any differences between the FL versions, not really to make the craziest beat on Earth. So we're just gonna drag in some pretty basic sounds. All right, so admittedly, I have never used FL Studio 11, and I don't know how to make this bigger. I don't know how to extend it. Uh, we will figure it out, though, trust me. Honestly, probably what I'll do is just go like this. Uh, okay, that just, <laughs> that didn't fix anything. Okay, let me tell you, using this version of FL Studio is actually very nostalgic for me, because this is the version where, like, I remember watching people's tutorials from. People like Bass Gutta and, like, even Nick Mira back in the day use FL 11. So I was totally used to seeing all of these different interfaces and everything, and it's super nostalgic for me to actually go in and use it now. Honestly, that's the one thing I can say about FL 11, is that it definitely looks cooler than the newer versions of FL. All right, so I'm just gonna crank the velocities up. I do like how when you adjust the volume here, you get that little bar thing that shows up. But now what I wanna do is pull in like a plugin or something, which I don't really know how to do. All right, I'm just gonna use Citrus for this because I don't wanna go through the process of like uploading all my plugins and everything. Oh God, the interface is so old. Kind of a hard sound. Now I'm just gonna pull in an 808 and they'll be pretty much done here. Like I said, not going too crazy with the beat, just wanna get something simple so we have a frame of reference. All right, so this is what we have for the beat that we're gonna be recreating for FL12 and FL20. Sounds pretty good, I think. So I'm just gonna lay out like eight bars, 16 bars of this. And then just to make sure that we have continuity throughout all of the beats, I'm gonna make sure that all the settings are the same. I'm just gonna turn the bit rate up to 320 and then 512 point sync. And then everything else is pretty much fine, I think. Hopefully I remember everything that I did. I think I am gonna like take a picture or something so I remember. All right, so that's it for FL11. Now we're gonna move on to FL Studio 12. Welcome everybody to FL Studio version 12. This is actually the version that I started out on and objectively, I think this version is worse than both FL11 and FL20. They just got rid of random features that they didn't need to get rid of. It looks uglier. There's way more bugs. It just was not very good. However, it was just what was out at the time that I started making beats, so FL12 it was. The first thing we're going to do, again, obviously, is go to the mixer and once again put a soft clipper on the master. And now we're going to go into the channel rack and start recreating the beat. So, two step hi hats, uh, snare right here and here, obviously. I don't know why my cursor is just a little dot here. It's super annoying and it really just makes me uncomfortable, so I don't know why that's like that. And then also, gotta pull up Citrus again, and I'm hoping that the same sound is still in there because if not, that would be kind of annoying. 
There we go, got it. <sighs> oh my god, just open the file explorer, please. I love how fast my computer is. This is like comically bad. Dude, why is FL12 like crashing my computer? Okay, cool. All right, so for whatever reason, FL Studio 12 just wreaked absolute havoc upon my computer and just crashed the whole thing. So we're gonna try to do this again without that happening this time. Well, that's a great sound. Okay, as far as I know, going smoothly right now. We're just gonna crank up the volumes on here a little bit. Oh, there's no soft clipper, so I'm just destroying my computer. That makes sense. That's a little better. All right, not gonna mess with this anymore because FL12 is having some strange problems. One thing I will give FL12 credit for, it's actually pretty cool how the notes from Citrus are yellow in the pattern thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can do that with literally anything. All right, file, export, WAV. All right, so I just realized that I look like a total idiot the last time because I set the bit rate, but I exported it as a WAV, so that doesn't really matter. So just ignore on the FL11 part where I did that, but for here, obviously 512 point sync, and then start, and it's gonna take forever to export this eight bar loop. All right, so now we're caught up to present day FL Studio 20, and we're gonna make the same beat within here. Obviously, this is the interface that everybody is much more familiar with. In FL 20, they added back the feature where you can do this and adjust the velocity. In FL 12, you couldn't do that. They took out that feature, but that's why I quite like FL 20 because they brought back some of those old features that were actually useful. All right, so anyways, let's make this beat inside of FL 20. Obviously, you gotta go into the master, put a soft clipper. Already done that because I have a template with the soft clipper on it. All right, now we're just gonna speed run through this beat that I've already made twice. Also, I have the dot cursor again. Not really sure what that's about or why that's happening. Okay, so we got the beat. Now we obviously gotta pull in citrus for the final sound here. Hopefully the sound is in here. Electric two, let's go. All right, so now we have the FL20 version of this beat completed. Uh, okay, so now we've completed making the beat in all three programs, and now I'm gonna listen to it and see if I hear any differences. Also, mind you, maybe there's slight differences in like the volume of the hi-hats or stuff like that, but we're just looking kind of specifically for how hard the beat hits. So listen to the FL11 one first. Okay, now the FL12 one. Now the FL21. They're all the same. <laughs> what did you expect? What did you expect, huh? But no, genuinely, I think pretty much the difference between the FL11 and 12 is like, there's no difference at all. FL21 maybe hits a little bit harder just because of the fact that I push the volumes a little bit more, but honestly, they're all the same. Uh, it makes no difference at all. The only thing that's gonna make a difference is if you actually like change what's on your master track, but if all the settings are the same, you do the same thing in every single program, it's all gonna be the same. Actually, to show you, I'm gonna pull up FL Studio version three. Let's make the same thing in FL3, and I'll show you guys that it's the exact same thing. All right, FL3 here, if you wanna see me go more in depth into using FL3 for the first time, Boom, video right there. It's a pretty good one in my opinion. Okay, there's just no sound. <laughs> nice. And it's up for debate, but honestly, I think FL Studio 3 hits harder than all other versions of FL Studio. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for me here in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And what did we learn here today? Probably nothing. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which version of FL you started out on. Like I said, I started out on FL 12, but using FL 11, even though I've never used it before in my life, was more nostalgic than FL 12 for me, even though the first like probably 500 beats or so that I ever made were on FL 12. So yeah, make sure you guys go check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist of songs I've produced, my beat store, Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so, and I will see you guys next time. Some saving, so